Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. This is going to be a video where I'm going to talk about a lot of things and bring it all into this one singular video. So I've got something exciting also to talk about. It's a giveaway that I'm doing in this video. So please be sure to stick around for that. But for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So the giveaway we're going to be doing in today's video is for Crisis on Infinite Earths on DVD or Blu-ray. You guys get to choose if you're picked. It's coming out on May 25th, so that's two days time. So I will be picking the winner either today or tomorrow. I would probably say it's going to be tomorrow so the most amount of people can see the video and then you guys can all enter to win. So how do you get in to win? And you know, if you do win, by the way, it will come on the 25th. So it's going to be in the next few days time. So the way to enter is leave a like on this video. Leave a comment on why you want to get Crisis on Infinite Earths. Maybe tell me why you like Crisis, what worked for you in Crisis on Infinite Earths. And also, please be sure, if you have Twitter, and please do it if you do have Twitter, go to the link in the description below and retweet the tweet, and you'll be entered there. So you can either enter via the Twitter way, or you can enter via the YouTube way, or do both, and then you probably have more chance to win. So that's how you do it. Leave a like and a comment and then retweet on Twitter if you have Twitter, but don't worry if you don't have Twitter, you can just do it via YouTube. So yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So we're going to be talking about some questions that you guys have sent in. So this is sort of, I asked these questions a few weeks ago, but I've taken out the ones that are regarding like the finales because I've already talked about that recently. So this is about, you know, what's to come in the future with the next seasons of Supergirl, The Flash and other shows. And so the first question is from YouTube and they're all from YouTube. Remember to check out the community tab because I posted another one just today for a video sometime later this week. So please be sure if you got any really interesting questions about the new seasons, please be sure to leave it there. So go check that out if you missed out on today's video. But the first question comes from Sa Om and they ask, how long will it take for Supergirl to find the one? So I have talked about this quite a lot on the channel because, you know, I'm a massive mon fan. I love Karamel. They are my favorite ship. They are my favorite couple in the Arrowverse. And it seems very unlikely that mon is going to return again unless Chris wants to return and the show, you know, sees it fit that he can have the story and he can return. But I think as of right now, mon is not coming back for the foreseeable future. It was a great surprise seeing him in the 100th episode, but that was a one-off. So I don't see mon coming back in the next few years or anything like that, unless something completely changes. So I think Supergirl, I think Kara will actually find someone very soon, like maybe next season or the season after. I don't see it being William, but there is a chance because they definitely have hinted towards that. But I think there's a chance it could be someone else. But in answer to your question, I think sometime in the next few seasons, she'll find someone who won't be mon because I think she is sort of moved on and maybe she's a bit ready to start something new. And to be honest, I don't think I'm opposed to that as of right now because it doesn't seem like mon is going to return anytime soon, which is a shame, but, you know, we have to move on, I guess. Okay, so the next question is from D Meng on YouTube, and they ask, when do you think Melissa Benoist can go back to filming, and when do you think Supergirl Episode 1 for the next season will air? So that's a very good question. We've answered this quite a few times, but not that recently. We answered that mainly last month when all of this sort of went down for the first time. But, so I think Melissa will go back to filming around the end of October slash the start of November. And that's when you're going to see Supergirl return because that's when they were originally set to return because in April they were going to film like five episodes until June and they would be wrapping up, you know, that first five episodes. Then Melissa would have her child and she would go on maternity leave until about the end of October and then start again in November. So I still think that's on track apart from the fact that we're going to be not seeing Supergirl for nearly a year now because of you know, the delays and how productions have shut down, so they weren't able to film from April to June like they originally planned. So, yeah, I would say November is probably our best bet as of right now. They'll film for like a month, they'll go on a little Christmas break, they will return, and they will just consistently film for a very long time, depending on how many episodes they're going to have next season. 
but in regards to episode one, when will it air? We've been told is going to be at the mid season in the summer, so April, May slash early June time, sort of this time right now where Stargirl is airing. And remember, guys, I'm covering Stargirl on my channel week to week because it was really good in the first episode, and I'm very excited. And I think it's good to have a show that we can consistently talk about for at least the next few months because Stargirl's got 13 episodes, and that was only episode one, so. Stargirl content's coming, but yeah, so I would say around the time where Stargirl started this year, that's when we're going to see Supergirl episode 1 for the next season. Okay, so let's move on to the next question, it comes from Cigar on YouTube, and they write, When will everyone go back to filming? So this is obviously just what we touched upon in regards to Supergirl, but in regards to everyone else, it seems like filming will return sometime at the end of July slash the start of August is probably our best bet as of right now. However, some people have been suggesting that maybe in Vancouver they might not do it and they might delay it until early fall. So that's my answer as of right now. So that's The Flash. Batwoman, once Batwoman gets recast, obviously we don't know how that's going to go. Is it going to be like 20 episodes again or is it going to be cut short because of the new casting? I don't know. But it seems like Legends will start at the same time as well because they did that last year and then they aired their episodes in January. However, there is a chance Legends doesn't return to do filming straight away. But anyway, so let's move on to the next question from Connor Reed. So he asks, the potential villain of Supergirl Season 6. Okay, so I don't have a theory as to who the villain's going to be, but you've got what happened at the end of the season. Lex is still around and... Obviously, Lex's mum, they had that cliffhanger. We have to wrap up that story. They have the power of immortality. Well, I think something interesting could happen there. Because they've got this immortality thing, they're doing some sort of testing or, you know, they're experimenting on something. They could either just, you know, give it to themselves. However, I'm kind of rooting, and I might make a video on this because I just thought about it literally right now. He might be making Superboy because if you've seen Young Justice or the comics or anything, Lex actually makes Superboy in this sort of chamber, kind of like the one you saw at the end of the season, and, you know, he would need someone to defeat the Kryptonians, and what better person to do it than to use a Kryptonian, you know, controlled by Lex. That's a theory that just came to mind, I think that's very interesting, and I think you guys should maybe note that in your mind, but obviously the other possibility is Lex uses it on himself, but the way they ended it, it seems like they were testing and experimenting on something, or maybe someone. So the other thing that was left hanging was the fact that Gamine actually didn't die. She turned into that sort of robot kind of psycho thing. And you would have to assume we're going to see more of her next season. Probably at the start, I don't think she's going to be around all season. But we have that to deal with, because she didn't die and get sucked into, you know, the device like all the other members of Leviathan, because she is somehow different. And also, we never found out who was in charge of Leviathan and who she calls up to and, like, who is in charge of them. So, you would have to assume we're going to continue that as well. But I don't have a theory, apart from that Superboy one with Lex, to who a new villain could be. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Shatim Plays YT. They ask, do you think the cliffhanger of The Flash will stay and be the problem for the next season? So, obviously, this question was asked before the cliffhanger actually was revealed and we watched the finale but I think it still remains relevant, so yeah, the cliffhanger is going to be part of the problem for next season. They're going to be going into the Mirrorverse, they're going to be defeating Eva, it was revealed in the Season 7 synopsis, so Eva's going to return, Iris is still going to be in the Mirrorverse, so yeah, the cliffhangers that we had are going to be, you know, concluded at the start of next season, so we will have Barry going into the Mirrorverse, saving Iris, and however they end up doing that, Iris is still trying to find Sing, you know, the normal version of Sing, and she has some sort of control over the Mirrorverse. We'll see all of that go into fruition, and also we're gonna, you know, defeat Eva, and we'll continue, and that's going to be one of the reasons why we're gonna get the next big bad, whoever's coming next, apparently is going to be sort of like a ramification of them defeating Eva. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. It comes from Sky Chaser L on YouTube, who writes, is there going to be a crossover with Supergirl, Flash, and Stargirl, all three together? So that's a good question, and there were comments recently that Batwoman was going to cross over with Superman and Lois, the new show, which we will also be covering, by the way, when we start to get more stuff. But 
I don't know how that's going to go, and I've talked about this recently, because Batwoman, obviously, she's been recast, Ruby has left the show, so I don't know if that crossover is going to go ahead with Batwoman. There have been talks about Stargirl in its next season crossing over with The Flash, and the showrunner wants it to cross over with Supergirl as well, so I don't see why they can't replace it and have Stargirl crossing over with The Flash and Supergirl, and also Superman and Lois like they originally intended. But, you know, instead have it just on two shows like they planned for Batwoman and Superman and Lois. So maybe have it on The Flash and Superman and Lois instead of Batwoman and you have all the characters from Supergirl and Stargirl showing up and, you know, that comes after the mid-season break or something like that because that will accommodate for Supergirl being able to be in there. So, yeah, good question right there. Alright, let's move on to one of the final questions and this is how do you think Supergirl will end do you think it's going to be ending very soon so as in regards to supergirl ending it's not going to get cancelled because it does very well for cw and yes the ratings sometimes go down but they're still very consistent and they are you know well performing for the cw so no worries about that but as in regards to how supergirl ends it's probably going to be you know melissa leaving at some point i don't know if it's going to be season 8 season 9 or if it's going to be season 7 or season 10 it could go on it depends on melissa i don't think she's ready to give it up yet she is contracted to do up to seven seasons and then we'll see where we go from there so i think it's down to whatever melissa wants but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video that is the end of it hopefully you enjoyed it please be sure to enter the giveaway for crisis on infinite earths on dvd or blu-ray so remember go check it out how to do that in the description below and also i said it at the start of the video and additionally remember i just posted on the community tab for a video that i'm going to do later this week so if you want to be featured in one of these videos with your great question please be sure to go over there and leave your questions right now so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see.